Citizens to address agenda items. There are three citizens. I'll take them uh, after we do the items for consideration. Uh, resolutions. Motion to adopt resolution 2019-16, approving that the acquisition and subsequent disposition of numerous parcels of vacant property known as lot and lots numbers 1270-D-334 would be in accord with the comprehensive plan of the municipality. So I have a motion. So moved. Second. Motion on move. <coughs> Roll call. authorizing the execution of a general obligation note uh, pursuant to local government unit debt act of about $307,758.00 for the purchase of two Mac dump trucks. So moved. I'll second it. Question on the motion. Roll call. Commissioner Simla? Yes. Commissioner Walsh? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Items for consideration. Motion to amend Commissioner meeting minutes dated August 19th, 2019. So moved. Second. Question on motion. Roll call. Commissioner Simla? Yes. Commissioner Walk? No. Commissioner Redwoods? Yes. Commissioner Blake? No. Commissioner Evans? No. Commissioner Roderick? No. President Kisma? No. Motion to approve Commissioner meeting minutes dated September 16th, 2019. So moved. I'll second. Question on the motion? Roll call. Commissioner Simla? Yes. Commissioner Walk? Yes. Commissioner Beckwoods? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roderick? Yes. President Yes. Motion to approve the general fund bill warranted October 7, 2019, in the amount of $149,781.05. So moved. Second. Question on the motion? Roll call. Yes. 
Question to print the sanitary fund bill warranted on October 7, 2019, in the amount of $135,368.92. So moved. Second. Question on the motion? Roll call. Commissioner Simlow? Yes. Commissioner Roth? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Wick? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Motion to ratify donation of Porter John's for Mount Vernon Church's annual barbecue held October 5th, 2019, amount of $170. So moved. Second. Question on the motion? Roll call. Commissioner Simlow? Yes. Commissioner Walker? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Motion to ratify purchase of two Mack dump trucks in the amount of $307,000. $758.00 from NH Equipment. Second. Question on motion. Roll call. Commissioner Simlow? Yes. Commissioner Walk? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Motion to authorize the sale of two 2013 Ford Taurus interceptors on the municipal with a minimum bid of $1,000 each. So moved. Second. Question on motion. Roll call. Commissioner Simla? Yes. Commissioner Walk? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Motion advertised for the substitute crossing guard position. So moved. Second. Question? Roll call. Commissioner Simla? Yes. Commissioner Walk? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Motion to approve the proposal from the Industrial Appraisal Company, amount of $670 for updates to the appraisal. So moved. Second. Question. Roll call. Commissioner Simler? Yes. Commissioner Walk? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Adams? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Who are these appraisals for? For the insurance company. For insurance purposes. Motion to disperse the uh, 2019 Volunteer Fire Relief Association allocation of $63,799.69, equally to the uh, five volunteer fire companies of Elizabeth Township. So moved. I'll second it. Question on the motion. I would just like to announce that uh, a, uh, in the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas, they just approved the merger of uh, Green Oak and Blytheville Fire Company. So uh, we really don't have five, we have four now, but uh, the one will still receive uh, two shares of the fire tax money. Okay, roll call. Commissioner Simlow? Yes. Commissioner Walker? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? I'm just saying because I've said they thought you should have been the ones you thought about. Commissioner Robert? Yes. Motion to renew the current medical plan design for 2019 through Municipal Benefit Services and Institute of Green. So moved. Second. Question. Roll call. Commissioner Simlow? Yes. Commissioner Walk? Yes. Commissioner Beckwith? Yes. Commissioner Blake? Yes. Commissioner Evans? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. President Goodman? Yes. Motion to apply the 2019 Municipal Pension State Aid to the following plans in accordance with the 2019 amendment. Elizabeth Township Pension Plan non uniform, $64,748.47. And the Elizabeth Township Police Pension Plan, which is uniform, $98,103.47. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Question? Roll call. Commissioner Simler? Yes. Commissioner Walker? Yes. I will now move to citizens to address non agenda items, and I will start off with Jim Jones. Chris Evans here a while back about I had a solution to take care of the water problem over there. Chris told me, you get it done, we'll reimburse you for the money. 
I'm still waiting for a reimbursement on the money. And it didn't take me what you guys thought it would take. Because I talked to DEP about the problem, and they suggested me what to do to correct the problem. So I followed their instruction, and it worked. No water coming to the yard now. Also, I want to know when you people are coming over to take a look at my trees that were planted by this crappy uh, contract you people had in there. Dogwood trees. They're ain't going to make it. I had arborvitaes all taken down in my yard barrier. Them, bar them, bar them uh, bushes were all moved out of there. There's a barrier between my house and Tom Sharkish. No, there ain't no barrier. I had, uh, I had Grandview and Archie come over and take a look at them trees. And they said if they make it, they're going to be real lucky to make it. Then their contractor planting trees ought to be nailed to the wall. Because we had all this work on the mine property, and I did see one person from this township come out there to investigate the quality of work these people were doing. I could get like a bunch of kids out of grade school and done the work they did. Also, their biodegradable netting that they told me that will deteriorate through a bunch of BSers because it's still in my yard and it gets caught in my lawnmower. That's a bunch of crap too because they lied. One problem in this township is now that they're 81 years, is we never check what these contractors are going to do. We always take their word for what they're going to do. Those days have got to come to a halt. You have to check and see what these guys are doing in the yard. Because it, what they did in my yard was unacceptable. And I like to have the problem resolved because I talked to Don, I talked to Joanne, because of the people from you, the board here come over and take a look at my yard. Nobody's come yet. It doesn't make me happy, can I've been in this township for 81 years. And this is how you treat people, it ain't no good. So I appreciate that somebody came over and took a look at what the heck they did in my place. And the message. All right, I make the motion that we reimburse it for the money you I'll second the motion. Thank you. And also, as long as the engineers are looking at it, the township has a lot of money to this project. If somebody did something wrong, we need to go after them. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Brian's very well. I agree. You know, if it, if either it was done right or it was done wrong. That, that was and if it's done wrong, the contractor has to be the contractor should pay for it. The contractor is just paid for it. He's trying to put the money for something here. I suppose he's done. We'll vote on the motion for Yes. I have a note from uh, Brian Trill in um, my notes that uh, someone in the next in the next week will be on to do this. So we'll follow up on that. So this is a good question. But see, you know, you want to know anything now about that contractor? That contractor is from the Bergsburg. He would come to my yard and start doing the work. And Tom Sharkey and the Reed were bothering me. He was kind of starting doing the work. He was stuck. You would not see him for a month or so after that. And the reason being, he had other jobs going on. He would put our jobs aside, working his other jobs. That was a crop of bull crap. Because the job that was going to be so long ended up being a lot longer. And that's the reason why, whenever they got to go, they got a guy from White Oak to go and get them their giant red dogwood trees. What hell was at the end of the season? And there ain't nothing available. So they brought white dogwoods over. And I said, I didn't order white, I ordered Cheyenne red. So they went by Cheyenne red. And what they probably planted in Cheyenne red, like a bunch of gray trees didn't come over and plant them damn trees the way they did. That's a bunch of crap. Well, we have a mess in a second. Somebody should do a little combo for his company. Yeah, I, I would have looked. She either was, he's got a either was done right or it wasn't done yeah, right. Yeah. If it wasn't done right, we go after the contractor and tell him the right person. How much is the invoice on this motion? What's the amount? 200 and what's the, the, the money on the motion? 200 and something? What the older? 200 and just put it out there or whatever. The change I made up there. I think it was two hundred dollars. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than you guys could have got done because I had a contract come over here. That's why I talked to GEP. Well,
you asked me the other question. Yeah, that was just general question. Commissioner Simlaw? Yes. Commissioner Walk? This is giving money to private property. Oh. Right? I don't know how it's a township issue. Well, we, the township has over probably 45 work around in this project. This, the catch station on his back of this property. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's one. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. But that's why I said we need to investigate, like, I, I somebody should be accountable for the work was done incorrectly. The problem was we made the decision at the beginning that there was a problem here, we were responsible, we, 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 we paid someone the responsibility to do it, if it's either done right or done wrong. I'm not, that's not my area of expertise. Exactly. It needs to be determined and put this to bed. Exactly. Commissioner Rex? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Yes. Commissioner Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Jack Lewis. All right. I don't want to come here too long. I'm not here because I got a picture. Sorry about that. But unbeknownst to me, I'm at work on Friday. Showed up. Uh, I guess Cody's working here. John, he came with an assistant. Was neck checking around my neighbor's house. There, he was walking around. I don't know what pool or whatever have you. My wife called me at work and said, hey, somebody's walking around the house, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, fine. So that guy lives in Illinois, so I keep an eye out for his property. I called him, told him he might want to contact these guys to find out what was up. I don't know what that entails. Here I come home from there, I'm getting ready to leave for the weekend to go camping. Here I got four vehicles in my own private yard, tagged because of registration and insurance is ran out. Yes, I understand that. I can understand that. To a point, but my point being is they were in my own private lot and they're being restored. I have a 67 truck in that garage, I have a 77 truck that my son's restored. My other boy's on 67, I have a 79 Corvette with a cover on it. It's pristine body up until, never mind, I guess I'm not going to say that. Uh, I have an on boy that I am selling, it's an 05, it's rental. So now I'm tell my son came over, he took his Corvette and also a 95 pickup that was there. It needed a transmission put back in it. The transmission's in the garage, he just didn't put it back in yet. Uh, but we took two of the vehicles out there, took them to my son's property that he has 25 acres on. Now I have questions for you, Mr. Steele, if you can answer these. How did you acquire the VIN numbers and plate numbers that were written on the tags? On the vehicle. Okay. How did you this is your time for public comment. It's really not like public inquisition. Well, no. You know, there's wait, wait, wait. Place wait. Place wait. To answer Hear me out. This, Hear is, me this out. is the way these meetings are run. Hear me out. Sorry. But how did you get the 1979 Corvette that was covered up? Public comment. Yeah, how did, how if did you, you would like, it? if you'd like to schedule a meeting with Mr. Nelson, I'm sure he'd be happy to. No, he that, broke that's, an how, entry, that's how you do it. You don't do it in public You don't understand. What I mean is, he uncovered that to get the license. I could not find it. But to get the VIN number off at 79, you have to physically open that door because it's on the door. If I would come to your house and open up your car door and start that shit around, would you not press door? Just think I was trying to open the vehicle, sir. You had to. That's the only way you could let the VIN number off. Chief, the registration, does it turn return the VIN number from PennDOT? Mr. Levitt, you said it. Uh, you but said. the only thing I'm trying to acquire here is I do not walk for anybody in this township. I've lived here for 26 years. I have it off the street. I'm not bothering anybody that way. My thing is they're being restored vehicles. I'm not going to pay a registration and inspection when I'm restoring, trying to make them for state back to original. So all I want to do is have that visit and be left alone. They're not bothering anybody. If they were on the road and somebody had to drive around them, yes, I could understand that. I would be upset too. But they're on my own property. Are we in? So you're restoring, you know, there's two vehicles out of the four left, right? You only have two? I have two of them, yes. One's being for sale, the other one's still in restoration. Okay, so in restores them, is there a way that we can get them a restoration permit? There are all requirements under our ordinance, but the vehicle has to be fenced by an opaque fence. That's How about if I draw the requirements in the ordinance? Can he move them like to the back of the house and put it They already use them back now. Can you, can, you, can you cover them up or something? They would have to be, as we follow the ordinance, they would have to be in a fenced in enclosure. Why would it have to be fenced in when you just told me on the phone all I had to do was have a shelter or a carport? No, I said you couldn't just put it in a carport. Only to the motion of words of two restoration permits. No, no, no. I mean, 
I've already done zero. There are requirements for a restoration. So I'll make a motion to award two restoration permits to Mr. Lewis, contingent that they meet the criteria of the ordinance. Would that work? Repeat that. A motion to award two restoration permits for this man's vehicle until they're restored, contingent that they meet the conditions of the restoration ordinance. So that way you get a permit to restore it. Well, that's fine. The other thing is I already did move two of them out of there, which is understandable. I mean, okay. All right. Well, I'll make a motion. Okay. Questions? Roll call. I don't know what's wrong with the telephone. We'll work it out. We'll get it all squared away. Okay. Roll call. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 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 Yes. 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 Another, another concern here is, is across the street from me, it's them with two houses. One was owned by one person, one was owned by another. Why is the township still cutting the grass? We cut all vacant lots in the township. That are okay, but that is owned by that person. Why are they responsible for cutting their own grass? They are. But we cut quite a few lots in Elizabeth Township, and that's one of the things. Okay. I just said we don't find any of that. When those properties are leaned after they're cut. I understand. The time is the time is spent. Those properties are leaned. So when they're sold, or if they get sold or taken over by a different county program, then the township gets paid for that time that was put in. I'm in favor. But they also get paid for the general cost too. Correct. I understand. I just had that. Yeah, but no, that's one of the main issues that we have. Anytime we turn down a house, we just spend seven thousand to tear it down. Right. We lose forty two a month in sewage. We lose tax revenue every year, and on top of that, we have to pay so much money. Another factor being that is you can't re-tap into. Yeah. If somebody wanted to come and buy it, they can land and rebuild. They can't use the same tap. Yeah, they lost their tap. So that's something we're reevaluating. If there's a way that we can eliminate demand and option and loss or whatever, that way. And also, this, this other property that I have, I acquired it to keep it off of the books, and I am paying the taxes on it, just so you're aware of that. I mean, it could have went to red very easily. Because the people that had it before walked away from it. All right, thank you, Mr. Lewis. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so the final one yeah, is Donna Greenwald. Mm -hmm. Yes, Donna Greenwald. Yes, Donna Greenwald. Yes, Donna Greenwald. Yes, Donna Greenwald. Yes, So we, so we, um, we put the project out for bid to fix the drainage over in the Greenwald Farm. We awarded it to the lowest bidder. The lowest bidder mistook the specifications for something else, and what he proposed to our engineer did not even wouldn't even throw a tap on what the issue is. So the contractor does not want to continue with the project. He wants to propose. It. Now, yeah, now he would be fine, I think, a 10% penalty of what the big requirement was. So I think that he would keep $5,000 or whatever he posted for bond. So now the main issue is, and this is something that you're going to have to look at, Mr. Solicitor, is whether or not we could go from the second lowest bidder, or do we have to redo the whole thing? He told me that. Like, yeah, but the, the issue, the issue with this woman is, she, the, what Dennis from Bioli told me is that those uh, sewers over there aren't meant to be underwater. So being that they're underwater and they're a low point, she's getting sewage back up in her basement. And we got a letter from the Allegheny County Health Department ordering us to remediate the situation. But the issue is, if we're at this rate, I mean, if, what are they going to do? You have to place this in the middle of winter time. So now, I, it's uh, my... You could have checked on well, that. Well, that's what we need to do. do you know. have one, but apparently it's not. Well, it's been there. My parents tried to get this fixed. Well, it's and they offered to they offered to and provide the labor. Yeah, my cousins were supposed to do the work. I don't know what happened there, but it would have been half the cost because we would have put yeah we would have put up the pipe and they would have put up the labor. Yeah, so but I, I, this has to spot because yeah, thankfully it hasn't been rain season, but this last year it was terrible. So the issue that we had down in Boston where we installed a backflow preventer because the Allegheny County Health Department ordered us to, we have to do the same thing here. 
Uh, I would like to ask for a motion to install a path flow preventer at 444 Rockland Road. A motion to install a back flow preventer at... Uh, was that in the original note? It should be approved on this? No, yeah, that was for the, that was for the drainage issue. Oh, this okay. This is for the sanitary back flow. Yeah. 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 So moved. Okay. Second. Using the same way as last year, the agreement everything, or is this just... Yeah, that's, yeah, the same agreement. see when the expiration of that second bidder would be, even if we could award it to him, it may be past the deadline right. when he's going to hold that price. Well, I mean, this was months ago, that That's the wonder of municipal government, <laughs> that it's so well, slow. It's just, yeah, I can't okay, so, so I have a motion and a second to install a back for the runner, that'll fix it immediately. to the grass and the, the water damage, but I wanted to make sure before the road department went on private property that the board <coughs> talked to the solicitor about this today, that we just made a motion that uh, we would restore the, the property back to its original <coughs> state before the, and, and there isn't any foundation issues, it's just basically grass and, you know, issues from the, the it, it is, there isn't any structural damage or anything like that, but it's basically the yard and some of the landscaping and things like that. So I want to make that motion. Yeah, and, and I'll second it. And just to clarify to the public, I, I went up there and what I saw it was like unbelievable. There's a catch base on the side of Circle Drive, and if you look underneath it, there's 100 feet of terracotta pipe that just goes to this guy's house. Yeah. And anytime it rains, there's like three streets that go into one catch base and 100 feet, and it just points directly to this guy's house. His whole yard is like destroyed. I mean, it's hard to believe. And he tried to fix it himself, but and then with a job like that, I mean, it just it's not something that you can handle yourself. And, it definitely is our problem, I know that. So, uh, Dennis Drive wasn't us, but Circle Drive is. Okay, uh, roll call. I'd probably put that pipe in. I'm sure you did. Who <laughs> boom?